world is talking about Ethiopia. But few people realize how little political events are affecting the daily lives of the peasants in the remote interior. In this desolate mountain land, news travels slowly, and far from civilization, the peasants are still living their quiet, uneventful lives, as they have done for hundreds of years. The staple food of the Ethiopians is a kind of pancake called ingera, baked in a flat pan over a wood fire. All the Ethiopian native garments are made of cotton cloth, which the women spin and weave in the most primitive way imaginable. To protect the heads of the women and children from the fierce rays of the sun, the natives plait straw hats. Many of the Ethiopians live in tukuls, wooden huts with thatched roofs and with walls covered with lime bound with long grass. There's plenty of clay in the river beds during the rainy season and the men use it for molding pots. In fact, the Ethiopians in their daily lives differ little from native peasants in every other part of the world. They're a hardy race, they need to be in the fierce climate, but their chief interests are providing food and shelter for themselves and their children like every man and woman in every part of the world. In the less mountainous regions, the Ethiopian natives keep herds of cattle, which they kill for meat or trade with the merchants in the nearest town. Ethiopia at home is a land of peasants earning a meager livelihood from the fruits of a barren soil.